dressy. You ain't dressy, yes. You will have to go with the school bus. No, mom. Just give me a minute. I'll be ready. All you have is a minute. A second past that and you have to go with the bus. I'll be waiting in the car. Okay, mom. I'll join you soon. I hope you've been studying for your coming exam. Mom, my final exam is not until six months. I know, but you have to start preparing for it now. You know, only excellent students get accepted in Doxa University. I am an excellent student, Mom. I know. I am just saying, as an excellent student, you have to put in more efforts, like Rhoda. How did Rhoda get into this conversation, Mom? She has study alarm set at two hours intervals, so she could study. Study indeed. Was that what she told you? She fooled you, Mom, but she can never fool me. She had those alarms set so it would keep ringing and disturbing you, and you would end up returning the phone to her, and her plan worked out perfectly. You are wrong, because when I went to give her the phone, I met her study. Mom, she had her script acted out perfectly. The point is make sure you prepare well for your exams. Okay, ma. Do you still have pocket money? Yes, mom. Dad reimbursed me last week. Yes, I forgot. You promised to ask Grace, mom if I could come with you to the party. Party insects. I will call her when I get to the shop. Spending every day just running. But isn't it the perfect tonight? Good morning, my friend. It's your baby, your Lucy. She says she wants to come with us to the party. She can come if she wants to. The more the merrier. At least we will have someone to take us nice pictures. I thought I would have to ask you first. <laughs> That's very important. She'll be excited when I tell her. Okay, thank you, my friend. See you later then. Honey, did you miss me that much that you came all the way to surprise me? Why did you go to Mr. Adam's house to threaten him and assault his housemate? I did not assault anyone. She was being disrespectful and I slapped her to correct her. Why did you even have to go there at all? Do you want me to lose my job? Don't you know that man is well connected and could have me thrown out, flushing out all my years of hard work down the drain? I was just really upset when you told me he stole that position you really worked out and was due for for you. Why would you be more upset than I, myself, who was affected? Since you could go that far, what would I have done then? I'm sorry, darling. Please calm down. Did he make trouble with you at the office? I can go apologize to him. I hope everything is fine at work. There is no need to apologize to him. Nothing happened at work. Please, honey, don't go fighting on my behalf next time. That's not how to solve issues. It only makes matters worse. Please, I beg you. I've heard you. I'm sorry. It's all right. If everything is fine at all, why didn't you tell me till you get home to scold me? Why drive all the way just to scold me? I came to scold you and to praise you all together, but the scolding had to come first. I don't understand. So what have I done that is so praiseworthy? What you did wasn't the right thing, but I was happy you got under his skin. That man's presence annoys me. In fact, I got you a gift just for that reason, but I will not give you now. I will give you when I get home tonight. You are a very funny man. Anyways, myself and Lucy will be going for a birthday party in the evening in case you get home and you don't meet us. Whose birthday? I don't know the celebrant myself. And you are going to the party? If you don't know the celebrant, who invited you then? Mrs. Festus did. Okay. Anyway, you both shouldn't stay out too late. Else, no more gift for you. Don't worry, we will come home early. Alright, I have to rush back to the office. See you later. Spending every day just running but isn't it the perfect tonight what are you doing greg nothing just resting get dressed and come with me then come with you where i'm going to a friend's by the party lucy and her mom are coming too so you should come along thanks mom i'll pass why you will not do anything anyway i have loads of assignments i need to research on i don't have time to go partying when you know you have assignments, why are you lazing around then? It's called resting, mom. This is why I would rather live in the dorm. You'll be late for your party. Have fun, mom. By the way, you look amazing. I won't bring any survey for you. Bye, mom. But isn't it the perfect tonight? I thought Greg would be coming along. He was supposed to there, but he has no work to do. 
Now I know why you wanted to come with us all along. It was because of Greg, right? Stop it, mom. Gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Don't have to be embarrassed, dear. We also had those feelings while growing up. It is what makes us human. There is nothing to be embarrassed about. Lucy, do you like Greg? Mom. If you like Greg, you can tell him. He doesn't have a girlfriend yet, at least none that I know of. My friend, do I encourage her? But you just asked if I liked him and Miss Fetus is totally cool with it. I am a fan of your glove. That was how I married Red Star, you know? He was my senior in secondary school. Lucy, remember the rules. No boyfriend until you're done with school. But Rhoda has a boyfriend. Rhoda, isn't that your heart's help? Don't listen to her. Lucy, except you want to go back home. You should remain quiet until the party is over. I should have just stayed home. What did you say? Nothing, mom. I thought as much. Someone sounds very happy today. Tell me, what is the good news? Hey, baby. First of all, what time does your boss get back home? She boss and he boss or baby boss. Well, she boss and baby boss went for a party and won't be back anytime soon. That's hilarious. <laughs> what about he boss? What time does he get back? Depend. Sometimes she get back early and sometimes late. But I don't think she'll be back anytime soon either. Hello, hello. Maybe his time has finished. Get on a plane to London Like we'll leave behind nothing Isn't it the pub? Are they back already? But they won't be knocking. I wonder who is it? Who is it? Come in. The door is open. Why didn't you just tell me you are coming? Then it wouldn't have been a surprise anymore. Please sit. She boss and baby boss went to a party with my mom. Really? I don't know that. My mom tried to pull me along. I can imagine. How do you manage to escape being dragged along? I thought I had assignments. I see. You are done with your assignments. I'm doing it now. You are one naughty boy. Am I? Tonight let's be spontaneous. I wish this moment never ends. Get up. You have to leave now. That's harsh. Are you chasing me? No, I am not. Trust me. I want you to stay. But look at the time. Sometimes I can't help but feel like you don't love me as much as I do. It's like I'm the only one more invested in the relationship. I'm sorry, Greg. I love you too, very much. But can you be patient with me? It is just a lot is going on with me right now, which might look like I am less concerned about us. But believe me, it is totally the opposite. So what are you saying? I just need time. Give me a little more time. Everything will be over once I get admitted into the university. It's fine. I should be on my way. No hug. I love you, Rhoda. I really do. I love you too.